All right, there we go. It's out of the box. I do like this scheme. This color scheme is really neat. I mean, look at these graphics here. I know that doesn't really matter uh, once this is in your system and working, but <laughs> I think it's a nice touch. I like it. Uh, let's check out this screen. Oh, is this? It is a touch screen. That's awesome. 883 watts. And it is showing 16.5 amps on our display here. Oh, look, it says two hours and 52 minutes time to full. So that's awesome. It's uh, letting us know how long it's going to take for it to charge with this. All right. I'll... All right, guys. So technically the test is still running because uh, the battery still has power. But we have drawn out 100 amp hours since we've gone all the way down to zero on this. Uh, so it has, in fact, given us 100 amp hours, and we have discharged 5.2 kilowatt hours worth of power, and so that's also passes. Uh, so it's completely passed the discharge test. It has given us the advertised capacity. Now, it is still going, so it's going to give us beyond uh, its rated capacity here. Uh, this screen is still telling us it's got 4% left. And about 14 minutes left, I think is what it's saying there. Yeah, 14 minutes left. Uh, so I'm going to let it keep on going. And when that finally stops, I'll be right back. All right. So this thing is now saying 0%. However, it's still going. <laughs> but I think it's probably going to... Either the inverter's going to start complaining here real soon or it's just going to shut off. So we'll just let it keep going until one of the other occurs. All right. There's the inverter complaining. So we'll go ahead and shut it down. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at our final discharged energy. And we discharged 5.4 kilowatt hours. So 5,400 watt hours divided by nominal voltage of 51.2 gives us 105.46 amp hours. Awesome. All right, guys, so now it's time for everybody's favorite part when I open stuff up. And I know that's your favorite part because you guys tell me you love it when I open stuff up. So I've already got these screws removed, so let's just slide this lid off. There we go. All right, on the bottom side of the lid, we have some high-density foam. Uh, that's to keep some pressure and some space in between the cells and the lid. I like that. And here's the inside. So here's our BMS right here. And it looks like kind of your standard JBD style BMS that you would find inside of many batteries. And also ones that we would use for, you know, DIY kind of stuff. It does have this nice screen uh, on the front here. That's the back side of it. Our battery terminals back side there we have silicone jacketed wire I think and it feels like it and also has this um, extra protection around it as well that's real nice yeah it definitely feels like a silicone jacketed wire on a negative and uh, so the cells are gonna be under here um, I guess we have to unbolt this Okay, let's take this off. Let's unbolt this, I guess. What is this? 12? No. I think it's a 13 millimeter. Yep, 13. And then we've got something here. So I think we can remove these straps now. Here we go. And then we've got this plastic sheet. And there we go. We've got the tops of the cells. <laughs> so everything is bolted. The cells are actually bolted in place with the bus bars. That is really awesome. It's not welded. Uh, so this 
should be able to be serviceable if you know if you had to replace a cell or something like that if you could find these cells i've seen some other guys review this battery and i am i need to see what cells they found because i don't think i can easily get to it without just tearing this thing all apart because it's it's in these um it's in these plastic cell holders it's the cells are fully encased which is awesome i mean because it's going to protect them a lot better but this build quality does look great i mean like look at this like all the wires are wrapped in this spiral plastic wrapping and then they're they're routed like really good like there's no wire mess in here this this is really really top notch and then it runs over to the bms so yeah really nice yeah okay so i've looked these up and uh lithium solar also did a review i'll link his review as well in the description and he says these are eve cells off already these are eve cells they are eve i think they're lf 100 la so here is the qr code you can see it starts with 04q which is typical of an eve cell it appears to be the original QR code. I don't see any sanding or polishing or anything that looks suspicious. And it says here 320 watt hours. So these are 100 amp hour cells. All right, so there you go. And I hope hope Lithium Solar, you don't mind that I did a little clip out of your video there. But there you go. So they're EVE cells. That is a really good quality cell. Everybody, obviously everybody knows them. And if you don't, you know, look them up. It's a very high quality cell. Uh, so the build is just fantastic. Everything looks great should have temperature yeah we have temperature sensors which i'm quite sure it does work to have you know it should have low temperature charging protection but we'll go ahead and test it anyway there's one right there okay so uh, i've got the charger hooked up we are currently charging at 17.9 amps uh, let me use the duster here to freeze that thermal sensor up Man, there it goes. It stopped charging and we're back already. Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it does have low temperature charging protection. We shut off charging, so no current going into the battery.